today we're going to look at this uh, switching power supply this a uh, high voltage power supply with the uh, with also low voltage output a 6.3 volt output and for the filament and we have another output that can be set to 250 volt or 280 volt and set the high voltage output by moving this jumper here this, this is the power supply claims <coughs> claims to be universal input power supply 95 volts to 265 volts 6.3 volt output plus 280 volt for tube preamp or bulb amp we're going to test this one later how much current this can give at its high voltage output and the 6.3 volt output this is the, prim the primary side of the power supply these two blue caps here are the Y capacitor this one is the safety capacitor and we have our fuse here input fuse we have our NTC resistor we have our X capacitor common mode choke and then it goes to our bridge certifier and then to the volt primary cap which is 68 UF 400 volt this is our switcher here I believe this is the rectifier for the 6.3 volt and this is the rectifier for the high voltage section these two diodes are in series we have two chokes here so the secondary filter for this is CLC we also have uh, another transistor here this is the this is a MOSFET that is in series with the high voltage section the part number of this MOSFET is uh, KEF10N80 I tried to search this one on Google but there's no hit for this one This this is the enhancement uh, MOSFET in channel enhancement MOSFET Fortunately the Atlas DCA was able to identify this one as an in channel enhancement MOSFET with a diode from the to source So that is the <coughs> control chip for the power supply. It looks like uh, they have erased the part number for this uh, IC. This is the primary switcher, KEF12N65. And this is the rectifier for the 6.3 volt. This is the rectifier for the high voltage section. US3M. The filter for the high voltage section is uh, 22 UF 400 volt. Two of them, this one and this one. And the filter capacitor for the low voltage is 2200 UF. Uh, 16 volt there's two of them and this small cup here is for the circuit for this uh, MOSFET here to show how much current the power supply can do but first we need to check how much the power supply weight about 189 grams so we're going to check the size Seven mm. Hundred mm. This is the high voltage positive out, and this is the high low voltage positive out. Don't mind the color of this one. I don't have the extra pigments today. This two are the ground. So this high voltage goes here. <coughs> this is a high voltage electronic load. This one is rated up to 150 volts. This one is rated to 500 volts.
pastib Kurs to the pastib Kurs negatib Kurs to wires This is the idle power The power supply is set to 250 volts So you can see the jumper is set to 250 volts And that is the no load voltage 242.8 volts And the low voltage So the filament is 6.3 I'm going to turn it off first and then we're going to see the low, no load voltage of the 280 volts. So the high voltage and the low voltage has a bleed resistor. The voltage on this has already dropped and this one is almost done discharging. I'm going to switch this to 280 volts. So that is the 280 volts to load voltage 278.8 I'm going to set it back to 250 volts We have a, a current load value set to 100 milli volts. With the new load voltage on the filament voltage, 100 milli ampere load on the 250. Drop to 218.9. Now let's put a 200 millivolts load on the filament voltage. Okay, with 500 milli load on the filament voltage, the high voltage has increased to 237. Increase the filament voltage to one ampere. Okay, now, <coughs> now we have six point. <coughs> the filament voltage is very stable at six point three one ampere load, six point three watts. And the high voltage has increased to two hundred forty three volts. We have a power of to around twenty five watts. Now I'm going to increase the current load on the high voltage to 200 milliampere I need to turn this off first and off now this is the this is the okay, that is 200 milliampere load I need to turn on the turn it load so what the hell the voltage is 300 volts so this thing is not good for 100 milliampere load so this power supply is gonna toast your load if it's only rated up to 250 volts the output of this has jumped to 300 volts with no load here it dropped down to 214 Okay, so the, the voltage now is has dropped to 238 volts with 200 milliampere and we have uh, 1 ampere here so this power supply does not like cross load and even load do that again if it will happen again so 
So, kansi it, uh, it jumped to around 289 volts before it dropped back to 238. So, you to be very careful when using this power supply is if your load is rated up to 250 volts only because this power supply is gonna toast your load. It jump, it's jump to 292 volts. So the overshoot of this power supply is pretty bad. I'm going to increase the current load to 300 milliampere. We now have a 48 watts load here. If I increase this to 300 milliampere, that's around how much? It's gonna be approximately 75 watts. Can this small power supply do 75 watts? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the 280 volts output. We have 280 volts, 200 milliampere load. Okay, this is the high voltage load, the 280 volts. No load on the, on the 280 high voltage, no load on the 6.3. Okay, we have one upper load on the low voltage 6.3 volt filament <coughs> output and the look at the high voltage output with no load on the high voltage and uh, one upper load on the 6.3 volt output is 351 volts if your load is only rated up to 280 volts this is, the, this is gonna burn your load So the voltage regulation of this is pretty bad when cross loading okay, I'm going to turn on the 200 milliampere load on the high voltage side and the voltage has dropped to 275 let me turn this off okay, 250 Okay, the voltage has dropped to 250 from 275 with no load on the 6.3 volt rail. I'm going to turn this off. It's 350 volts. With no load on the high voltage side. milliampere load okay, let's turn the milliampere load on the high voltage side okay that's 82 watts okay that's uh, 82 watts load on the uh, high voltage 280 volts rail and 1 ampere on the low voltage rail
Ayan, let's try this again. 200 mA load. Ayan, load watts. 28 watts here. So this half is about pulling 2 watts. Try 400 milliampere. Okay, that's 400 milliampere. One hundred ten watts. It looks like the power supply died. The high voltage output is missing, but the low voltage is fine. Right on, and the low voltage drops to zero. So it looks like the power supply is kaput now. Power supply can handle a load of 400 milliampere. works fine for a few minutes for 300 milliampere but we don't know if that is good for long term use maybe this power supply is only good for 200 milliampere for extended use so that's about 50 watts around 50 55 watts and one ampere load on the filament voltage